The Sexy Brutale is at its core a puzzle game, masquerading in an isometric, time-traveling, murder-mystery adventure game. The game works best as a sum of its parts, rather than as individual gameplay elements. The influences behind the title are quite apparent, but the game is able to create an experience that is completely its own. The Sexy Brutale is a contrastingly titled casino mansion owned by the enigmatic Marquise, who hosts a grand party at this fascinating locale. The party takes a dark turn as the staff sets out to kill all the guests. Players take on the role of a priest, Lafcadio Boone, to save lives and find out why things are happening the way they are. And if that wasn't complex enough, Lafcadio is also trapped in an ever-repeating day, reliving the deaths of his fellow partygoers unless he saves them. The game takes place in a series of stages, in which the player navigates a time-sensitive mansion, following staff and guests to ascertain the time and place of the murders, then figuring out how to stop them. The player navigates from room to room, utilizing a variety of skills such as super hearing, peeking through keyholes, hiding in cabinets, and interacting with a variety of objects. In doing so, the player can foil the plots of these staff members, save the other guests, earn more powers via their masks, and access further parts of the casino. However, failing to save the guests by the end of the time limit results in Lafcadio restarting the day. The game's puzzles vary in difficulty, with some taking much longer than I'd like to admit, and a couple that I solved when I was simply trying to scout the level. While puzzle games often vary in difficulty, the added layer of time-sensitive actions makes the sexy brutale stand out. Oftentimes, there are many moving pieces across the level, and it is up to you to keep track of who is where and what they are doing in order to save the guests. In addition to the game's various levels, the Sexy Brutale offers several collectibles in the form of playing cards and party invitations. As someone who likes collectibles but often gets overwhelmed by the sheer number of them, the game finds a good balance in between the two extremes. In addition to saving characters, learning the backstory of these colorful individuals is equally as pleasing. Much like the melting pot of genres and gameplay elements in the game, the Sexy Brutale shines the most when everything comes together. What the game lacks in the technical department, it makes up for with the artistic style. The Sexy Brutale features a sort of gothic, dark, yet charming setting. The characters, story, and mood felt like a perfect fit in this setting, which felt somewhat like other fictional mansions. Though the setting itself is great, there were a few graphical hitches, especially when approaching different doors. The game's map, as well as environmental indicators, were essential to ensure that players were not completely blind when thrown into this murderous Groundhog Day. Besides the intriguing storyline, the Sexy Brutale soundtrack stands out as one of its major positives. In addition to mood-appropriate music, the game features strong environmental cues to make you aware of approaching NPCs, as well as time-related sound effects. Perhaps its most intriguing use of sound is how different the music and mood can be from room to room in almost abrupt changes in the soundtrack yet still completely nailing it in terms of musical atmosphere. The Sexy Brutale is an intriguing title, where its mood and narrative stand out the most. While artistically sound, the technical prowess of the title is somewhat lacking. Though the various elements of the Sexy Brutale have been utilized in games past, it takes them and makes its own game. Overall, the game is creative, interesting, challenging, and fun. Almost living up to its exceptional name, the Sexy Brutale is a must-play title for puzzle and adventure game fans alike.